So I have a profile drawing here where I've annotated the proposed profile elevations in a frame along the bottom. And what I want to do is I want to, I want to annotate multiple profiles down there. I want to annotate these two ditch grades in a couple of extra frames down below the, the centerline elevations. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the design model and I'm going to edit the annotation group for the frames. So I'm going to go under annotation groups, profile, and choose this framed profile and edit it. And so here's the frame that was putting the proposed elevation in there. What I'm going to do is add a new row and I'm going to add a new label row. When that gets added in, I'm going to tell it what I want to annotate. I want to annotate the profile and I want to annotate the Z elevation along the profile and along which profile. So this is the one, this is the field here where it's asking which profile we want to annotate. There's two hard-coded values in here uh, in the brackets. There's active profile, which is the, the active one along that um, horizontal alignment that you select. And there's the active terrain. Those are hard-coded always there. Beyond that, you can build a list of any number of names that you want to add in there uh, and you're going to be prompted for those when you run the command to annotate. So in our workspace we already have secondary. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and add a couple of names to the aliases here. So there's a button up here called show aliases and I'm going to add some aliases. I'm going to add ditch left and then I'm going to add ditch right. And again, you can add any number of these as you want. Okay, so now those are added in the list of aliases. I can tell it that I want to annotate the Z along, not the active profile, but along the ditch left. And I'll come in later and do a Z along the ditch right as well. Okay, so where do I want to annotate it? The location, I will do every 10 feet. That's good. The proposed was doing it every 50 feet. So this will be a little more dense. Um, the title text is going to be ditch left. And that's going to be the frame title. And let's choose a text style that we know will look good in there. And there's one in here called profile annotation box title. So we'll go and choose that. And then for the text we're going to place, there is a text favorite that is already set up to pull the elevation for a profile grid. And that one is called Profile Tabular Data Elevation. Again, that's just already set up to pull the profile Z. And then that's really all we need to set up there. Let's go ahead and do it uh, one more time for the ditch right. And what I'm actually going to do is come up here and hit the copy paste row button there and we'll just change the information that we need to. Ditch right is going to be I'm going to pick the different alias that I created which is ditch right in this case and then everything else down here um, is going to be the same. The title should have updated when I typed it in up here and it did. Uh, everything else is going to be the same, same text styles and text favorites. So I've added ditch left and ditch right into my annotation group. I'm ready to go and annotate it now. I'm just going to go and create a new sheet with those extra rows in there. So I'm going to choose my profile group and uh, create a new drawing. When I hit OK on this, it's going to bring up a secondary dialog here to uh, prompt me to choose. For the aliases that I selected there, which profile do you want to annotate there? So I can hit the target drop down for ditch left. I know that my profile was DVC left and for ditch right it was DVC right. Those were the names of those green lines down there. So I'll say OK on that and then it'll generate the sheet. OK, and now that it's generated the sheet we can see that the frames are down there with our ditch left and ditch right. Let's just turn off the constructions there. And our ditch left and ditch right are assigned to the correct profile that we chose for the aliases and they're annotating every 10 feet along the horizontal like we told it to.